Stephen, total dominance in the first half and 1-0 ahead at the break. What do you put the second half performance down to? Well, it certainly wasn't what we said at half-time. You know, um, we knew we should have been a lot more ahead when you have that amount of shots and chances and you don't take them. Uh, the amount of set plays we put into the box is always going to be a stage where you're going to get you know, a little bit of pressure put on you. The two chances they scored two were clinical. Um, and we, we didn't do our jobs for the second goal. So nine months into it, people haven't been able to understand what job there is from throwing. So we get punished from it, but you know, it's, it's a hard one to take because we said at half time, we start the second half the same way. Our first four actions were we pulled out of a 50-50 tackle. The ball went under our foot. We didn't anticipate a second ball and we kicked it out of play. And that was how we started the second half. So as a manager at times, you, you just pull your hair out with people because all the good things that they've done, they, they didn't do in the second half for some unknown reason. What do you put that down to? Uh, you know, it's it's hard to pinpoint why. Um, you know, we should have been three and four and L up. That's we, that goes without saying in the first half performance. When you're not, you have to dig in and you have to fight and and earn that opportunity. To you know, we had the opportunity to go two and up just before they broke and score. We didn't set up properly from the throw and we got we got punished from it. So, you know, people have just lost a little bit of form, a little bit of confidence. Um, it comes with winning football matches, obviously. So it's you know, it's not a stage for me to rant and rave at them. It's a stage, you know, I've, I've done that <laughs> uh, many times. And it's a, you know, it's a time where I need to make them believe in themselves again and, and put an arm around some of them. The young boys um, that need to learn very, very quickly. And, you know, injuries and suspensions have kicked in. If you look at our front three, it's completely different than what we had in the first um, stage of the season. And um, we're maybe not taking the chances and being as clinical. I thought Tony done well tonight. We're, we're getting him up to speed. He's getting better with every game. So, look, I'll remain positive in terms of you know believing in the squad that we've got there's players that can play a lot better most certainly and you know, we tried changing shape to give us a little boost and as i said it worked for the the first period but in the second period if you you don't do the simple things right i said time and time again we we got punished for it. the team is still third is there a need to kind of draw the line under this performance and just remind the team like you say of what they're capable of? yeah as i say we we need players back on form players that were we were squeezing every last drop out of and we're really pushing and you know maybe our, our work ethics just dropped just Five percent subconsciously, whether that's tiredness or psychologically, when you you lose goals in the last minute and decisions go against you, you play games with ten men. So whether it's that, we need to reset. We've got a week between games now, um, and it's up to me to make sure I, I try and motivate them again to go because I have a lot of belief in the boys that are here. You know, it's it's a little sticky spell. I've been here before. Um, I'll take all the criticism that comes my way, and just ask that the fans, which they they do, they get behind the players. They you know they, they did fair play to them. They did to try to encourage them. You know, we put David on to try and lift everybody. We know he's not 100% match fit. We know that he's still a distance away. But, you know, we're asking people to stick together, stick with the boys. They'll, you know, I, I believe they'll come good again. And just on David, I mean, the crowd are lifted by that. But how much do you need to manage expectations for everyone with his comeback? Yeah, you know, that's probably the limit of what David can give us at the minute in terms of minutes. We're, we're very much guided by the, the specialist and increasing his load. And as much as I would love to put David Trumbull in right from the start, especially in this current run, you know, David... Uh, long-term future for himself and for Motherwell is, is at the forefront of my mind so you know, the players just have to dig in you know people have to play through bad periods and, and show their character it's easy when you win a football matches we're all the best players the best managers best staff and you know, stick together and dig in um, you know I've still a lot of belief in the boys that are here and, and we will get them back to form thanks Steve okay